This goes to show you I eat just as much as a bodybuilder. <laughs> it's not good. Eat sushi at Furud, formerly Frudo. Frudo, formerly known as the Halloween store in Syracuse, <laughs> New York. I'm here with Jeremy Freeman, good friend and owner of Well Rounded Health and Fitness and the Freeman Formula Supplement line. And we just came out to eat and have a good time while he's in town because you moved to Florida on us. Yeah, moved to Florida, enjoying life down there. I know everyone moved to Florida after the the winter we yeah, had rough here. Winter. Really Sucks. rough winter. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're here eating some all-you-can-eat sushi. So you can tell I eat almost as much as Jeremy since I, <laughs> I already began eating. <laughs> she can eat mine when I can't eat the rest of mine. This is a lot of food for me. I'll finish his plate. <laughs> I'll finish Jason's plate because I'm like, ooh, his looks good too. <laughs> Are you trying to Struggles steal mine? Real. I know. And uh, <laughs> check out his YouTube. Oh, yeah, There's I was going to mention that formula. Too. YouTube? Your YouTube yeah, channel Yeah, a YouTube channel. We have, you know, we've had our Project 42 program in-house. Kara's done it a number of times. Yeah. And, uh, and I always send uh, messages out every single day to people in that program. And so what we've started doing is just uh, you know, doing a new series of messages. It's the uh, Project 42 Empowerment Series. And really what it is, it's a template uh, that's laid out to help people achieve their goals, not just in weight loss or getting in shape, but in any area of your life. Um, so it's, it's called the Project 42 Empowerment Series. You can just uh, subscribe to our channel at Freeman Formula on YouTube and, uh, and, and just follow can along. Do it, right? Anybody can do it. Yeah. Anybody can do it. And if you, you know, if you guys have any questions or you know you need any help with anything, you can uh, contact me at Jeremy at FreemanFormula.com. I would love to be able to help you out. No joke. These guys are like the most motivational people by far that I've ever met. I mean, you guys got me started more into the lifting and like wanting to compete but like I took a break from the gym for a while yeah. and then when I came back prepping for my bikini competition I knew it that was the environment I had to be in and Rich just kept me so motivated the whole time I mean you guys just you get it you know well, what I mean? Well I think for us which what we love is that you know when we, with somebody like you guys like you know Jason, you know, yeah. and, and you, you guys have been at our gym for a you know, number of years, and you yeah. kind of started there, yeah. you know, and, and just kind of, it's it, we love seeing those type of changes because, you know, right. you came in and, and you started there, and then you start, you know, finding that passion, finding that that, that purpose, yeah. and then you start competing, and you start just, yeah. you know, cons consistently trying to be better, yeah. and so, you know, your, your story is inspiring to even me because I yeah. see, you know, the progress that you've made and the yeah. dedication that you've had, you know, and, and, and that's the type of thing that we love to help instill in people is, right. is to really to help somebody trying to find that purpose and, yeah. and to kind of live that fitness lifestyle and that's exactly what you're doing and now you're inspiring right. people to do the same thing yeah. so that's exciting I love yeah. to see that. Now you guys are literally the ones who taught me to be comfortable with being uncomfortable that's like my favorite thing I learned like that first 42 I did because that's what helped me qualify for the Boston Marathon I think. Yep. I just remember sprinting around that parking lot and going, okay, be comfortable with being uncomfortable. So I feel like I'm gonna puke right now and <laughs> I wanna stop, but I'm supposed to be comfortable with feeling like I wanna puke, so I guess I'll keep pushing. Yeah. And I didn't end up puking, but I just got comfortable with like that feeling of being uncomfortable. Yeah. And that is what helped me the day that I qualified for Boston. I just kept thinking about that, like, okay, this sucks, this is hard, I'm tired, but I'm just gonna keep pushing until I can't. Right, and it, and comes, it, it almost comes back to a mindset, you know, it the way is. you think and how you think, it literally dictates what every single cell in your body does. Yeah. And when people can kind of grasp that concept, yeah. that's when you can push yourself to a new level, that's when you can, you know, realize that, you know, I can do anything, you start letting go of a lot of those limiting beliefs that people have of right. what they can do, yeah, and sure. they start to be better, <laughs> I you know? have lots of those. <laughs> Lately with competing and it's it's truly it is a mindset. Yeah, I mean it can make or break you in terms of just believing in yourself with your goals and everything so. Yeah, absolutely. You, you know, I mean and, and like what you've done, you know, you, you set your you set your you know your your um, you know what you want to do, your goal, your, your your sights on a specific goal, and then again you just drive toward it every day. Right. You know, and just make the proper choices to be able to make sure that today counts and make every right. single day right. count. You know, not look I, back so much, just keep pushing exactly, forward. Exactly, just keep pushing forward. And you can have bad days. Yeah. You know, everybody does. You yeah. know, and I think that's the part that pulls a lot of people off. They have a yeah. bad day and they're like, oh my god, I totally screwed up. Right. You know, everybody has those, but exactly. you have to, you know, 
focus, refocus on, on the overall goal and yeah. you get back on track and you drive forward. Yeah. Yeah. This guy right here, I love him. Like, I'm just going <laughs> to call you anytime I'm having a down day. It all, like, without fail, it always works. So, <laughs> all you can eat sushi with Jeremy Freeman and I feel super positive right now. <laughs> I do. It's true. When my sister met you, she was like, oh my God, he's amazing because we both were like so pumped up about life after we talked to you. No joke. It always happens. Very cool. You need to bottle that up. Yeah, right. Well, you have. Upgrade. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> it works. Exactly. It does. That stuff's amazing. There's nothing like it. Yep. Well, it's my my mission. You know, if you watch those videos, my my mission is to, is to help to you know show people that they're extraordinary. You know, right. I believe that I believe that everybody's extraordinary, and that yeah. that you know um, I just want to you know help people you know help pull it out of people. You right. know, so that they can be their absolute best. You know, because yeah. I think that so many people are kind of dragged down or else you know right. bogged down by everything that goes on in life. I mean, right. sometimes we're just pulled in so many different directions. We have a lot of different stresses. We have uh, you know I mean a lot of times we have you know we're taking. You know, our jobs take all of our energy and time, our kids, or, you know, if you have families, different things like that. And it's so important to be able to take time, you know, for yourself and to pay attention, you know, to yourself because you're, you're at your best. You know, think about when you're getting ready for a show and you're, you know, you have a specific schedule you're following, you know, you have better energy, you feel good, your relationships are better. Everything is better when you're paying attention to yourself. Yeah, that's so. why I was like so happy this last prep. I was just... Yeah, that was you, your easiest you, prep. You, yeah. You know, and you, I, and you I knew I best. was doing everything I needed to. I was giving 110%. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, downing. I mean, it wasn't that I didn't have doubts in there, but I knew I was giving it my all. I went into the gym every single day with a purpose. Even if I saw other people around me not pushing, it didn't matter because I was focusing on myself, thinking about how I was going to look on the stage and that, you know, it just, it makes everything else kind of line up in your life. Yeah. When you're doing everything you need to for your own health or your own goals, it doesn't have to be just competing, you know. It's Absolutely. Whatever your goals are. So, what a great job to have. Yeah, you know, it's a, it is a great job, and you know the thing about it is when you're inspiring other people to be their best, you yeah. know, it helps you to even be better because you see yourself as an example for other people, just yeah. like you. You're spreading this message to you know thousands of people, and yeah. you're and they see you as an example. So when you see yourself as an example to these other people, you raise yeah. your own standards. Yeah. You know, when you're yeah. raising your standards, you you know you you do things differently. You have yeah. a different set of actions, a different set of beliefs. Right. So you know it comes back to you know again yeah. when you look at yourself that way, and you're spreading this message that you're spreading this message that I'm spreading. spreading right. it's it's very rewarding when you see yes. people that are grasping yes. onto it and making a change in their own lives. It's right. awesome. Right. It is yeah. <laughs> we're at the fairgrounds in Syracuse and we're going in for the annual ski board, ski board, snow board and ski sale to try to find new snowboards because mine's a piece of junk and I want a Burton feather. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. We didn't really get to snowboard much this past year with the weather here. It's like... It's, it's so really cold. tough in the area to like have that perfect snowboarding weather but anyways we're going to capitalize we've always talked about going to the sale we never have um so hopefully we can get a good deal i was we were eyeing that snowboard for me like all winter and it never got cheap enough and apparently these guys here will match any price even on the internet for like as cheap yeah. as you can find so Hopefully we can get some cheap snowboards today. Cheap good snowboards. Cheap good ones. I've never had a Burton before. What you got? Found the Burton feather. Almost got the wrong size because I had to take my shoes off. Your heels off. I had to take my heels off. I think you want it to be like chin level. Yeah. You're good. Correct. Super disappointing. I found the board I wanted, the Burton Feather. However, they made it sound like it was this huge, huge sale. Like the best time of the year to buy snowboards, the best place to go. And we go in there and the board was $300, which this past winter it was way cheaper than that at Dick's Sporting Goods. But they had advertised that they match internet pricing. So we're like, all right, that's perfect. So we found it online for cheaper. You could trade in your board and bindings, which was basically getting raped because they were gonna give us 30 bucks for it. Whatever, fine, I don't need two boards and two bindings. So we go up to pay. And that was a whole ordeal because they literally took the company that we found the price matching for. He had to call them. 
actually verify they had the board in stock, find out if they were shipping because that would have taken into consideration. So anyways, he's like, yeah, okay, we'll give you the board for 250, but then you're not allowed to use your trade-in money towards it. And we're like, well, that's not a good deal. I gave you a board and bindings for $30 and now you're telling me I can't even put it towards this board. Which, by the way, that board at Dick's, like I said, I think it was two fifty in like, the winter time on sale. It was sale. two fifty in the winter time on sale. Plus, at Dick's Sporting Goods, I shop there so much. I always get like membership or whatever, like points coupons with like ten, twenty dollars off. Like, I basically could have gotten the board for like two ten at Dick's Sporting Goods. I just waited too long last year, and they sent all their snowboards back to wherever the snowboards go to at the end to of the, the North season. Pole. To the North Pole. So anyways, I was just kind of frustrated because it would have ended up being me spending over $300 for a board and bindings, which is that a bad deal? No, but it didn't really feel like that good of a deal where on September 19th, I'm going to spend that kind of money for it. To get rid of last year's inventory. To help them out. It's like, no, I, you know what? I think I'll wait and give my business to Dick's Sporting Goods and not the ski company in Syracuse, New York. Don't go there. I'm a little annoyed. I'm super annoyed. They weren't like mean about it, but it was just kind of like you purposely, like it's not false advertising, but you, you lacked detail as to what you would really be willing to do. And an end of the year kind of inventory sale for snowboards, I just feel like there should have been a better deal than that. There will like, be seriously, online. Like seriously, a Roxy snowboard for $350? Like you can go to Zoomies and get a board, bindings, and boots. Like last year they had the deal. The boots weren't Burton, but everything else was for like 400 bucks. So I don't know that I'm just a little irritated about that because we spent all this time there. Jason didn't really find anything he was crazy about that again was like worth the money, like $300. We can get that like in the winter time when there's a new selection of boards and we're not pick picking over leftover stuff. Um, so now let's see. Now to pick up your car. Oh yeah, we have to pick up my car because we worked out this morning. You guys didn't see that obviously, but we worked out. Met made Jer some gains. <laughs> <laughs> gains were made. You're very loud and adamant about those because gains. Because I'm behind the mic, they can't hear me, so I gotta yell sure at you. Sure they can. <laughs> it's loud. Gains were made. I made gains. Gains were made. Um, so now we have to get my car, both drive home, and probably eat quick. Eat some pumpkin pie, I'm gonna do. No. I am. It's pumpkin cake. Pumpkin cake. Big difference. Pumpkin cake I'm going to eat. The Big last piece difference. of the pumpkin cake. Six days later. Six day old pumpkin cake. And it still is going to taste delicious. It is. And then what are we doing? Then we are going to the Funny Bone tonight at the mall. We're watching Steve-O. So not sure how funny he'll be for stand up but He's hilarious and jackass. Best known for his stint on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> no, he's not best known for that. I liked him on Dancing with the Stars. But, um, yeah, so that I think that's at 7.30, so I think you have to be there an hour beforehand, I think. So we probably have to be there at 6.30, which means we probably have to leave the house. Because it's first come, first serve, like, with seating there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, the tickets are all on cost. There isn't a bad seat in the place. It's small enough that... Who, who have we watched so far? This will be the third time going. We saw Polly Shore. Those Which are our snowboards rattling in the back, by the way. Our old snowboards. Um, Polly Shore, we went first and saw him, which that was pretty funny, actually. It's hilarious. And then we saw Marlon Wayans, which he was, he was decent, like, it was... Polly Shore was funnier, though. Polly Shore was funnier. Marlon Wayans, the guy that opened for him, was funnier, I think. Who? Remember the, the guy, guy that, that opened in Marlon Wayne's? Yeah. Yeah, he was hilarious. He was looking funny. So, anyways, we're gonna go do that. So the poor puppy dog's been like alone all day. Go home, eat, change. I don't feel like dressing cute. I kind of just want to throw on freaking sneakers and sweatpants. You look cute right in now. In a pineapple so. bun. Rocking the the leopard leopard pants today. In wedge shoes that my toes are crammed into and hurting now. So. And then tomorrow, what are you doing? Really quick. Then, then, I'll, then I'll end this segment. Just really quick. Tomorrow morning, I'm just going to run a half marathon, I hope. <laughs> Signed up to run one tomorrow morning. May sound crazy. 
may sound stupid to some of you, and I can talk more in another video if you'd like about running and games, or running and being a competitor, because I have gotten some requests on that, so I gladly talk about that in a separate video, but it's supposed to be like a perfect fall day in Syracuse tomorrow. So we went today, spur of the moment, signed myself up for a half marathon. So, more to come on that. Jean. The ice most cream. delicious soft serve ice cream ever. It's fluffy. Finally got my hands on some xanthan gum and guar gum to make protein soft serve ice cream with a little powdered peanut butter on top and some Walden Farms caramel syrup. It tastes so good. I've been craving this lately. You've been eating it like every day. I know, it's just been hitting the spot. Nice and because of my allergies, like my throat's been sore from like post-nasal drip and stuff. So like something cold and refreshing has just sounded good. Plus it's been really hot here still. I've been sick of eating meat, kind of. Have you? Like sometimes I just get tired of getting my protein from beef, chicken, eggs. So it's nice. You to always go back out. and forth, though. Mm-hmm. Wow. And this little guy is amazing because it's a little teeny tiny baby spoon. If I can focus it. But it's also a straw. So if it did melt, I could slurp it. But I like how little the straw is. So it takes me like 15 minutes to eat this, which makes it super fun. You can do a recipe video on it? Mm-hmm. Probably do that for Tiger Fitness to go up this week. So make sure everybody goes follows that channel mm -hmm. if they want to see the new recipes that go up every week. And she's powdering up her brand new cell phone. Shit. I'm a slob. Slob for life. We just got our first picture in our selfie mirror together. Selfie mirror? Go check it out on Instagram. It's a selfie mirror. I mean, it's also an accessory, but it's a selfie mirror. And I'm wearing this little jumper, Delio, that I got from Express. These shoes don't really look cute with it, but I'm stupid and wore wedges today walking around. And I'm running a half marathon tomorrow, so now I have bl blisters. So you can get blisters? That was very smart on my part. My feet are a little crappy now. Um, now to go see Steve and look, Jason's got a little sweater on. Yeah. Nice little sweater. Date night. I had to dress up a Date little night. bit. He's got, my, he's got my nice black toque on that I like. <laughs> I requested. Beanie you mean? Whatever. I like old that. people use the word toque. We're old. I never use the word toque. We're old farts. You're old. I just I'm not. tagged us old farts on Instagram. And so it's the a puppy fish. dog. Sorry we're leaving you buds. Again. Date night. Sorry buddy. He'd rather us go. He just wants to go sleep. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a little cocktail on my way there. My badass MTS Cyclone Yeah, I'm jealous shaker. I don't have one of those. It's nice. You're not as cool as me. It's nice. That's all that is. Off to see Steve-O. Off to see Steve-O at the Funny Bone. I can't wait. So this concludes your vlog for the day. I think this concludes the vlog. Unless anything cool happens, this may conclude it. Thank you for watching. Talks. Um, I'm here today to talk about something that I'm by no means an expert on, but I think it needs to be discussed. And so I'm going to keep it somewhat general, as you guys know I normally do, but I want to talk today about alcohol and its impacts on metabolism and how it could be impacting your performance in the gym or maybe impacting your ability to achieve your goals. Um, I think this is a topic that is very relevant.